Hey everyone, comic book reviewer here, this time reviewing on the first issue of Batman Superman, issue number one, New 52 comic review. Now, I'm pretty much in a temporary filming location, mostly because I have a sort of other roommate that my roommate Kev has, so I've been mostly playing his music full blast, so doing it in a different location to avoid the noise. So, pretty much the new 52 version of Batman and Superman is meant to cover the new 52 versions of Batman and Superman in their own adventures. And the early issues are meant to cover how Superman and Batman end up on Earth 2 and meeting their Earth 2 counterparts. Now, I know it's originally established that there is a new, new 52 Earth 2 version of Darkseid. So yeah, the New 52 did get a little compl complicated after Rebirth and everything. And let's go on the story. It starts off with Clark Kent entering Metropolis, mentioning how his father always told him to be, uh, to be careful around Metropolis in Gotham. And we hear basically people saying, Hey, chicky chicky, ha ha! Bud? Come, bud? Um, no, I'm good, thanks. Of course, we hear Clark's hearing someone assaulting a Muslim kid, which we see how a group of kids end up assaulting a Muslim kid and his, and his sister, and we kind of see how Clark, Clark hears this, and Bruce Wayne watching like a spectator, saying, do it. And we see how Clark, in his right mind, says, hey, now cut it out! I'm serious, don't even think, back for your ear a sec, whatever. And don't you try that again. Now, you can actually tell Clark is in the right. Again, Bruce, I get it, Bruce expects the kid to kind of be exactly like him. But you can tell Clark is just trying to play a good Samaritan and knows what, what went wrong. But you do see how Bruce points out that he wasn't sure he wanted help. Now, you can kind of tell Clark knows deep down that he's trying to do the right things. But sometimes, yeah, doing the right things can come with a price. <laughs> And we see how they both get to know each other. And we see how Bruce Wayne tries to play the whole, nah, I'm, I'm not that person you're looking for. But we see how Clark can actually play it smooth and knows deep down who he is. And even shows him the, the pictures of Wayne employees that have been murdered in Metropolis in the last eight hours and wants his info on it. But of course, we see how Bruce Wayne leaves. And we kind of see how Clark says, well, I thank you for that bully probably come back. Thanks to you, that bully probably come come back tomorrow and beat him up twice as hard. Go back to Metropolis, Kent. <laughs> and of course, we see the different, different upbringings, like Clark's family up to the car crash, which would later be fixed after Clark and his... New Earth counterpart got merged, and Bruce Wayne losing his parents, making them different counterparts. Of course, we see how in Metropolis, Catwoman is assaulting a Wayne employee, and we kind of see how how her, his daughter says, Daddy, I woke up, Gloria! And of course, we see Batman flying in, and wondering why Catwoman is in Metropolis. So of course, has to try and take her down. He also notices that his employee has some confiscated Wayne tech, but of course tries to use it for his advantage to call, to call up giant robotic dolls of some sort. And we see how Clark flies in with his original Superman costume. Now, I know in Justice League it was established they obviously teamed up at this point, at that point, so I'm guessing this either kind of alters some events, or Clark was just kind of starting out a bit more. And we see how he tries to take it on, and of course, we kind of see how Batman gets flinged around, and we see how Clark hears the girl's heartbeat, and we kind of see how both Batman and Superman try to dupe it out. But of course, end up kind of throwing each other out of the window, trying to ratch on to something, and of course, 
just as Clark uses his heat vision, we also see how Catwoman is actually possessed by the new god Kratos, who decides to have some fun with this, and mainly takes both Superman and Batman to Earth 2, and Catwoman wondering why she's in Metropolis. We see how both of them end up falling into Kansas, and saying, what the, you? Shield up! And of course, we see him saying, Clark, is that you? What the hell? How do you know me? What do you... What did you do to me? You're not well, Clark. Kryptonite? You're poisoning me! And we kind of see how he tries to calm him down. And turns out this Batman is actually the Earth 2 one. As soon as Clark comes to his senses. And we kind of see how Credo tries to have more fun with this. And brings out Clark to his worst side. And we see how Clark beats the merciful crap out of the Earth 2 Batman. And we kind of see how he flings him around. And just then he hears a voice saying, Clark? And just then... He sees the Earth 2 version of Jonas Finkent saying, Dad? Oh, son, what have you done? And Kratos saying, Ha! Perfect! And yeah, this is the story. So I think the first issue of the new 52 Batman Superman comic is kind of okay. Again, it does cause some continuity errors with the whole Justice League new 52 story. And keep in mind that that Clark and, and Bruce were mainly starting out. So I'm guessing this either took place a little while ago. And or as well before Darkseid's invasion on Earth 2. But I think it's not a bad story. Again, I like the artwork. As it kind of shows the darker side of Gotham. But I think it still deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, but kind of okay. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.